Why don't you introduce yourselves first? Why don't we start with Sophia? Uh, this is my first semester here because I'm an exchange student from Korea. Yep. You're majoring in theater? Yeah. Hi, I'm Esther, and I'm also an exchange student from Sophia at the same school. And um, I'm studying in IST, Information Science and Technology, and I'm a junior year here. Hi, uh, my name is Alexia, and I come from China. Uh, my major is DUS, not decision for this semester. How often do you have this conversation in Korea that like, hey, we're all, we're all like Koreans here. The biggest thing I surprised that coming into America like three weeks ago was like various nationalities and various nat like ethnicity all together but like in korea i don't know like if this is right or wrong but putting your hands up and asking questions to a professor or teacher during lectures in korea that's basically banned but there's a thing what i want to say we don't say that directly no or you don't we say don't it. yeah like act as it as well you got people who are studying Spanish here, okay? Americans who are studying Spanish. And they've learned how to say, Como esta usted? Me llamo Samuel. Estoy muy bien. And if I say, hey, how's your, how is your, how do you think your Spanish is? They're like, awesome. <laughs> like, damn. I'm killing it. Como esta usted? Muy bien. Like how many Chinese would like to be you? How often do you have this conversation in Korea that like, hey, we're all, we're all like Koreans here. Like, oh my God, this, like how, much, how often are you talking about that? This, this homogenous culture issue, like how often do you? Like how often we talk about we are all Koreans? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, because remember, like three, three, three and a half percent yeah. of the population of Korea are foreigners, people who were born outside of Korea. Mm -hmm. I mean, except people who are traveling through. Um, I guess we don't talk about it a lot about like we are being all koreans because it's like so normal to us mm -hmm. like being all koreans in korea was really normal to me and normal to everyone huh? what's most notable about it like tell people here who have never lived in a culture like the three of you, right? Who haven't lived in a culture where every, almost everyone shares the same ancestry. What's really notable about how you live in that culture? What's, what, what, what do you see? Like, what's it like? Living in, like, everybody is... Everyone's the same. Um, and again, not it, entirely <laughs> the same, but um, we're going to say it that way for yeah, a moment. Um, like um as alexia said um the biggest thing i surprised that like, coming into america like three weeks ago was like various nationalities and various nat like ethnicity all together but like in korea i don't know like if this is right or wrong but because it's all korean and like same ethnicity living in the same region all together mm -hmm. it seems like we're gathering like all together too tightly so much and um like giving a different op opinion like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like something different like saying out loud something different from all the others is mm -hmm. like kind of abnormal i think so you there's a saying in korea maybe you have a similar saying in japan like the nail that sticks up gets pounded pounded down by the hammer right so can can you yeah esther can you say something about that i have they, so sophia this is a cool idea i think i have exactly um a very good um thing i can tell you about well one of the big, biggest culture shock i came to one of the classes is putting your hands up and asking questions to a professor or teacher during lectures. In Korea, that's basically banned. 
it yeah, is not allowed because you're kind of not you're kind of interrupting the class and yeah. being and kind of like being one of the nails up up top and trying to be, become different from other people so most of the people if they have questions it's after the class you go up to your professor stay in line and ask the questions or the RAs or basically so Alexia same thing in China yeah I'm like uh, in the class we need to hands up or uh, or after the class to ask yeah. a question not in the class so the idea is that if you stand out in some way you're gonna get you're gonna get brought back into the to the homogenous culture yeah but in more of a behavioral way you don't mm -hmm. you never talk to that person yeah directly you just even know. indirectly you just give their give them a stare so this idea of homogeneity ever we're all in this together we're all sort of the same here where we're all part of this culture. We're not, we're not managing different cultures. We're all part of this culture. Everybody kind of stay in your place. Stay in the culture. Stay where you are. Don't stand out. But there's a thing when I want to say. We don't say that directly. No, or you don't say We it. don't yeah. like, act as it as well. If, one, if any of you say, like, yeah, my English is actually, yeah, my English is really good. What's, what happens? Who's going to hear that? And what are they going to think? Because your English is really good, okay? I mean, the two of you in particular, your English is your English is your English is really good. Your English is awesome, okay? But you just got your and you're young. How old are you? 18? Eighteen. Yeah, okay. Give you a year here. Give you some time in the U.S. Right? What's the problem with saying like, yeah, my English is really good? Who's gonna judge you? Like, what? What's the? Um, I think it's. Our first, our first language is not English, so we consider that the English is very poor like that. No, dude, listen. You got people who are studying Spanish here, okay? Americans who are studying Spanish. And they've learned how to say, Como esta usted? Me llamo Samuel. Estoy muy bien. Like, how are you? My name is Sam. And if I say, hey, how's your, how is your, how do you think your Spanish is? They'll be like, f***ing awesome. <laughs> like, damn, I'm killing it. Como esta usted? Muy bien. Like, like, oh my God. This is like, these are Americans, right? So like, what do you, well, how long have you been speaking Spanish? Oh, uh, just like, I just started at the beginning of the semester. It's three weeks, but I'm killing it. You know, I've already learned 20 words. I can count to 10. It's amazing. I'm great, aren't I? I'm amazing. And meanwhile, the three of you are like, oh, God, okay, I'm a loser. Like, I can't, like, but are you really, do you really think that? Or are you just saying that? To be honest, um, I think it's kind of being humble is one of the priorities okay. as a Korean student. Um, it's kind of weird saying this by myself, but I no, do. No, 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 you have to see, you're not, you're not saying it by yourself. You're teaching people what this thing called humility is because it, it's something that we don't get here. Remember that, right? I get elevated by speaking, by learning to count to 10 in Spanish and being able to say, oye, Como estas? Muy bien, yeah. And knowing that he just said, very good. Like, I'm patted on the back for that. That's like, oh, awesome, you're learning Spanish. So teach us, like, what, what do you mean, humility, right? Like, you know you speak English well. Um, not well, but I know my pronunciation is good as an Asian in English, to speak in English, especially as a second language. But being humble, is considered as a very important thing that you're a nice person especially in south korea okay because if you like to stand out and say that hey i'm good at something it means like oh maybe she likes to stand out and she doesn't really want to vibe with me or she just want to be the one who shines instead of other people so you're okay. not really respecting others the people 
The data that I said were like 40% of people basically in China, Korea, Japan are saying like, I'm not sure that this multicultural society is the one that I really want. Are those, do those 40% of the people, do they tend to, be, first off, what do you think they're seeing? What are they seeing? Like, why, what, what do you think motivates them to say, I'm not sure that I want to live in this multicultural society. Like, I kind of like this all Chinese or all Korean or all Japanese culture. What are they seeing? What? Um, I, I think because they grew up that way. Like, huh? So when you, let me ask you this other question. I want to keep going with this, right? Do, they, do you think these are, they tend to be older Koreans or younger Koreans who are saying that? Or do you think it's just lots of different people? I think older Koreans say that, like, don't want to be, like, mixed with another mm -hmm, mm -hmm. nations or something. Would you say that in China also? The people who are most likely to say, I'm not that interested in living in a nation with lots of different cultures. I like Chinese culture. Maybe the older people. You think older people? Yeah. Like you could imagine your grandparents saying that? Yeah. And not really your friends? What do young people want in China? Do they, what do they want? Mm. Like how many Chinese would like to be you? And stay there? Yeah, to come to the U.S. and experience um, this. I think in Penn State, there are a lot of Chinese study there. Uh -huh. Yeah, and my friends, all of the, my friends are also the Chinese. Uh, and we come there for, for study, for like study uh, different culture, different, uh, to meet different friends and also, we, we stay there, we can meet all uh, different Chinese friends, mm -hmm. come from different places. Different part, in different parts of yeah, China. Yeah, yeah, different part of so China. So that scene is, like, so in your generation, that's just, like, a scene is a cool thing. Yeah. Get on an airplane and go somewhere and <laughs> explore the world. Yes. How? I have a different um, go ahead. opinion. Well, I would like to say it's, like, general. It doesn't really match just the age for me because... I think those people who don't want to change are just afraid of changes of their current lives. Can you give an example? Like what, what might people be afraid of? What, well, like, what do you one think of the they examples of? are the job opportunities in South Korea. Well, for me, um, I, th I heard from other people, especially in our generations, well, I'm 21, and next year I'm turning senior, and I have to seek a job well, back in South Korea. And we do talk about there's a lot of immigrants from other countries and they're taking all our jobs. And that's why we have such a high competition of having a job and get having a career to live on. Yeah, but you guys, because of your low birth rate, the lowest True. in the world, <laughs> I should argue, that you need immigrants to come in. So that idea is like, OK, hang on a second. Like your Korea is going and China, too, because your birth rate is shifting you are going to be more and more heterogeneous right, and multiculturally. You're going to be. Well, that's what people say, and that's what the world say, and that's what the statistics say, and I totally agree with that. But within ourselves, we're just, I think a lot of people who are like of the 40% of the Got people, you. even though they know it, they are just afraid of change. Got you. Got you. So this is what Sophia said. This is what... This is what you would say also in China.